grappling with suffering, whether it's just in inner relationships or in business. Part of what makes it difficult is that we don't have a sense of its telos, of its end, of the goal of it. Now, we, we know from the example of Christ that there is uh, major benefits ultimately to suffering, <laughs> but it's really hard in your day-to-day to, to connect those dots. C.S. Lewis was the one who said that it, if, you, uh, if you knew what God knew about your circumstances right now, if you knew that, you would make the same decision for you that he's making for you. I'm paraphrasing. But the point is, is that if you had perfect knowledge, you wouldn't look at your current circumstances as being something to avoid, but rather something to embrace. And when it comes to suffering, we tend to want to avoid it. The, the point of suffering in, in your life, in my life, is to actually an acknowledgement that I am not God. It's an acknowledgement that I don't have all the information. By embracing suffering, you acknowledge that there is, that there are th things you don't see that are critically important to your survival. If you take that approach with suffering, it doesn't make the pain less. It doesn't make it so that you have some unrealistic, oh, I'm so happy to be suffering. <laughs> you know, that, that doesn't happen. But it puts suffering in its place, and it puts it in a place where your attitude about it changes, and then you welcome suffering on some level. It's, it's never going to feel exactly right, but you're going to welcome it on some level as an instrument that God's using to transform you and make him more like his son.